If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around. Hey guys, hello gorgeous. Christmas is upon us and there are so many great movies that I like to go back and re-watch to get myself in the Yuletide spirit and there aren't that many Christmas movies that I haven't seen. So I started to go back in the archives uh, looking for a Christmas movie that I've never seen before and I found an incredible gem that I wanted to share with you today in case you haven't seen it. It's definitely worth uh, hunting for finding a copy of 2003's Love Actually. It's a charming little English film with an incredible, incredible star-studded cast. I uh, was looking at it on IMDb and started to go down the cast list and was really impressed. It's got um, Liam Neeson in it, one of my all-time favorites. It's got Bill Nye, good man, bootstrap Bill from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Emma Thompson, wonderful actress. Uh, Martin Freeman, good old Bilbo Baggins in The Hobbit. Let's see, Andrew Lincoln. This is uh, pre-Walking Dead, Rick Grimes. Kira Knightley, Hugh Grant, Laura Linney, Hans Gruber, Alan Rickman from Die Hard. Billy Bob Thornton is in there for a quick little scene. And going through this list, I was looking at it and going, this is, this is a really impressive cast list. And then I saw the name Colin Firth. And I thought, you had me at Firth. Ever since I saw the King's Speech, Colin Firth has become one of my absolute favorite actors. I don't care what the situation is, what the movie's about, who else is in it, who directed it. If Colin Firth is in it, you had me at Firth. So my wife and I checked out Love Actually, and it starts off with Hugh Grant narrating, and he's talking about how negative the world can seem. And uh, if it seemed that way in 2003, just two years after the uh, September 11th attacks, which are mentioned at the beginning of the film, uh, I think uh, things may have just escalated by 2017. And this narration talks about this neg perceived negativity that's in the world and, uh, and Hugh's character as he's narrating, who is the Prime Minister of England. He talks about how when he visited the airports after attacks, um, what he noticed was that love actually is all around. So a word of warning about the uh, all-star cast. This is a movie that um, up until the halfway point for me felt like a film filled with cameos. It's It didn't really feel like Liam Neeson was in it or Colin Firth was in it. It felt like they were all making cameo appearances. And even uh, Billy Bob Thornton only has one or two scenes and then he doesn't uh, come back near the end of the movie. Oh, I also forgot uh, one of my favorite British actors ever, Rowan Atkinson, Mr. Bean, is in there as well. But again, his scenes also feel like uh, cameo appearances. So if you're looking for a nice fleshed out character study by the masters, such as Liam Neeson and Emma Thompson and Colin Firth, it's not really going to happen in this movie. They do the best they can with the very, very limited screen time they all have. And halfway through the movie, I was starting to think like, I'm not connecting to any of these wonderful, amazing actors. And that's, that's wrong. That's not a good thing when, you, when you're feeling that way about so many other characters. But I was holding out hope that all of these seemingly unconnected stories that are all happening throughout this little area in England would um, masterfully come together at the end. And without spoiling anything, I can say yes for me. It was so incredibly satisfying. It, it's not a mind-blowing um, ending where it's, it's so intricately, brilliantly weaved. It's not that kind of movie. It's not supposed to intellectually blow your mind. No, this is a lot like a movie I spoke about on this channel a couple of months ago called Gifted. This is not a heartwarming movie. For me, this was a heart-filling movie. And when everything comes together at the end and the whole point of the movie uh, becomes clear, uh, this was for me a, an overwhelming 
feeling of love and joy. This was a heart-filling movie. This was a movie like Gifted that restored a little bit of hope in the human race. You always hear people talk about how, well, deep down we're all good, and deep down we care for each other when it's important, when it matters, when the time is right. And uh, unfortunately, I don't really see that on a day-to-day -day basis in the news, um, just in life in general on the internet. But it's movies like this made by some really genuinely good-hearted people who um, make uh, heart-filling movies like this despite everything they're seeing too. They're not ignoring uh, the truth that's in the world. They make a movie like this despite that in order to send a message to the audience which is, despite everything that's going on, love actually is all around. So it's all about what you choose to focus on. It's about what you choose to spend your time thinking about and pondering about. If you dwell on the negative, then you're going to be a negative person. You're going to be depressed. But if you know where to look, if you know what to focus on, if you know what to appreciate, uh, if you know what to spend your precious time while here on this earth on, then much like this movie, you will have a heartwarming or a heart-filling experience. Some people might think it's schmaltzy, but uh, those might be those uh, hopelessly jaded people who have focused on the negative far too long, and they have just become immune and cold uh, to things like this that still promote selflessness, caring, love, and empathy. Uh, but I'm always looking for stuff like that, and I like rewatching movies with this type of message. And uh, very, very quickly, this movie, uh, after one viewing, has become one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. Uh, it It's not very, very entrenched in Christmas. It, it's kind of like those movies that just happen to take place during Christmas. Um, but uh, I think it adds to the story a lot more than if it was set in February uh, or the summer. And it's got a really important recurring message. It really uses the the different actors with their different little relationship situations in order to get a, a very important point across. And I don't give much relationship advice on this uh, YouTube channel, but uh, I will give you the same advice that this movie gives. Tell her or tell him. But more importantly than telling the other person how you feel, show them. Show them every single day. Get over yourself. Stop being so afraid. Don't worry about what might happen. And um, like the little kid in this movie, just say it. Just say it. Show it. Turn around and walk away. And let them deal with it as they might. Uh, it's important to not have too vested an interest when people are trying to share their true feelings with another person that they secretly care for. Sometimes they have too vested an interest and... Uh, they're hinging on the response, and it's too much pressure. Um, it can scare the other person away, like a, like a frightened bird or, or a, a skittish, uh, what's another really sensitive creature, like a horse or something like that. But if you just say it confidently, bravely, and then that's it. That's what the whole point of sharing is, not to get something in return, but to just give, and then you turn around and you walk away. Uh, you can feel so fulfilled uh, so good about yourself. Uh, and then anything that happens after that is a bonus. So if you have those uh, warm and fuzzy feelings about a special someone and you've always held off telling them or showing them how you feel, you've probably heard this a thousand times and hearing it from me isn't going to uh, make you live your life any differently. But uh, it does bear repeating. It, it is the best thing that I ever did. Um, Say it, show it, and not just once. Don't just work up the courage to do it once and then go, whew, I never have to do that again. You got to show it every single day. Hunt this movie down, check it out. It'll inspire you a lot more than I'm able to right now, but uh, it is a really, really special movie. Even though it's a couple years old, I think it is uh, one that um, for all of you Christmas lovers, you uh, uh, winter holiday lovers, uh, I think that it's uh, going to be a special addition to your Christmas movie collection. If you've seen Love Actually and you'd like to share a memory, scroll down and go to town. Thanks to everyone who's joined the Patreon page. Really appreciate your support. 
And if you'd like to support the channel as well, check out the Patreon link in the show notes. And to join the tribe, hit subscribe. Merry Christmas. Ho ho ho!